What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. So today we're going into downtown Ann Arbor to test the system during the day in slightly harder conditions. I did my initial impressions last night. It was dark out, not many people. Uh, the car did pretty well though, and my experience so far uh, has kind of mirrored, tiny break there, uh, has kind of mirrored what that video showed in that nothing huge has changed, um, but the car overall is pretty smooth, still a little timid when it shouldn't be. Um, but I had no big disengagements where, you know, let's say it was going to run into something or, you know, something like that. So that's always really good. Uh, the car is going to continue to make mistakes and the mistakes need to be, uh, you know, gentle and safe, you know, where the car kind of says, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Help me out or stopping if it's not sure if it can continue, things like that. So we're going into downtown Ann Arbor. should be a lot harder, uh, a lot more cars and people and things to contend with, which is great. Always really fun to see. Um, I'm on the assertive setting, pretty much always on that setting because even in that setting, the car is still pretty timid with a lot of its turns and things. So let's get going into some of these harder things. See if the stop sign trips it up. Uh, for the longest time it, time, it wasn't, and in the last video, it did. So there we go. So it didn't get confused by that stop sign at all. Oh, we got to move over here. We have the turn signal on. There's somebody in our way. They're not letting us in. But then there's a gap behind them. And see, so like, come on, go, go, go. Man, I have to hit the accelerator. See, that was so bad. That was just like so timid. It was wide open, <laughs> but I had to go because somebody was coming. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Man, every time we take this street, there's different construction on it, which is so fun. So if you're enjoying these videos, please hit like, get subscribed. It really helps the channel. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's get going into downtown Ann Arbor and have less. <laughs> I already intervened one time. Um, no more of those. So coming up to our right turn here, the car always takes this too fast. Let's see how it does it this time. Uh, yeah, really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? So it always takes that too fast every time. That's the first time I've ever had to take over for it though, because it seemed like it was going to go right into the curb as you just saw. So really bad. I don't know. I get comments all the time that say I, I brush over the bad things, but I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> it was going to hit the curb. You saw it. So there you go. Uh, not brushing over it. I'm still talking about it, how bad that just was. It was so bad. Hopefully now we got the mistakes out of the way now we'll continue and we'll see some some pretty impressive stuff here i hope all right handled all the previous stop signs well it did not yield when it wasn't supposed to now we got here about the same time but hey there we go we were there a tiny bit earlier could have really gone either way but the car did that really well it stopped and then just assertively moved forward didn't confuse the person across from us really good So confusing here, that Comcast truck, I uh, actually didn't even notice them, but they're parked at the stop sign. So the beta stopped and kind of waited for them to go, which makes sense, um, but they're parked there. I don't actually think you're supposed to park there, but I'm not sure. So really tight here. We'll see how the car handles it, moves over a bit and then continues. Yeah, it, it tends to go really slow. I mean, that was really tight. I, we technically both could have fit right there in between those cars, but it would have been really tight. So I don't mind the car slowing down a good amount in situations like that. And then we're gonna take this right turn next here. There is somebody behind us, which I saw on the display. So we're stopping and it is clear, so we should be able to go. Go, go. And there we go. So, you know, a little slow. Again, I, I try to think of these things like if it's a robo taxi, would I care? No, that would have been fine, I don't care. Um, the other thing I like to think is, and not the best example for this video, but you know, what if I was to fall asleep you know, sitting here, or what if nobody was in the driver's seat? What would happen on this drive? Well, so far, um, the first intervention maybe would have been okay. Second one, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> the car would have been up on that curb for sure. Hmm, so taking a different route than last time, we normally turn right there, and the car really messed it up last time. Did a pretty poor job. Um, not sure why it's taking a, a different route this time. So handling that person pretty well, he was walking in the street and could have gone either way. I could see Beta kind of slamming on the brakes in that situation, um, but it waited, he waited and kind of a normal interaction there. So pretty uneventful drive so far, which is good news for Beta. It means it's not screwing up too bad besides earlier in the beginning. Another thing I'm noticing is like in this situation, like um, what we saw 
in some of the previous versions at red lights, sometimes the car would try to go around people. It's not doing that, which is really good. Now we're not too many cars back, but even like in this situation right here, in older videos, it sometimes would try to go around people. Obviously very stupid. Um, so I'm glad we're not seeing that today. All right, so this will be interesting. We want to go straight. Car in front of us wants to turn left. We don't have the opportunity to go around them. Let's see what beta will do. Yeah, it's just going to wait here. There's definitely not space. Um, I would be inching closer. Again, just to kind of show my intent to the people around me. And beta moves up. Yeah, no, that was handled perfectly. So we just waited for them to get out of the way. None of this goofy trying to get around stuff. Perfect. Perfectly handled. A uh, little slowing here. Okay, so that's incorrect. I don't know why we're braking there. We turned our turn signal on way too early. And there are some people behind us. We should be moving to the right. We shouldn't be in the middle of the road here. Uh, not that big of a deal, but we shouldn't be. And then now we're turning right. Okay, good. So it's clear. I was actually, there's a pedestrian to the right. I was watching her. I don't know if the car was as well, but I was waiting to see if she was going to cross in front of us because um, it could have done that. Oh, look, it wants to turn into this parking lot and it's never done that before. So we don't want to do that. We want our next destination. So let me put that in here. Let beta continue. Should turn right here. So I, I always have this problem where I turn it on too late because that street is so short um, and then beta stays in that lane. So let me just fix it. All right, so a really good lane change. It seemed to wait to get through the intersection. That's a lot of things people, a, a, a big thing I hear people say is the car's always making lane changes while in the intersection. To be totally honest, I never really noticed it. You guys are so lucky you get this fast forwarding. Oh my gosh, these red lights have been so long. I usually just cut off, um, cut off sitting at the red light. So waiting for that pedestrian, pretty good. And then we should move forward here. Really good, so perfectly weighted for him. Going a little slow, but not terrible, not terrible. So that's what I'm talking about. The car still has a little bit of that timidness, but you know, when you're a self-driving car, that's way better than going when you're not supposed to. Um, so balancing all that out is going to take a lot of work, but if we don't have any dangerous things happening, you know, that'll be good. So making the same mistake that we made before, where we're in the left turn lane, and we're supposed to be going straight. So will the car correct itself? It does. Turns on the turn signal, kind of says, whoops, I made a mistake here. I'm going to fix it. So we'll report it just in case. Um, but there we go. So it fixed itself pretty good. And then I'm going to cancel this. This is too fast for me. Maybe that's the speed limit, but I wouldn't go that fast. And we're going to go back to Jack's hardware because I think it's going to take us through, uh, I don't know who's honking at what. I think it's going to take us through... Uh, this difficult, yeah, cool, exactly what I want to do up here. We did this before, lots of pedestrians, lots of crazy stuff happening here. Now, it is Thanksgiving weekend I'm kind of thinking about, so that's why we're probably seeing less cars and traffic and people and stuff, but there's been a little bit to interact with. So, uh, again, this awkwardness here, which I'm reporting of like, we have a right turn, move over to the right side of the road because there are going to be people here who have a left turn. And now we're, you know, we can go before them, of course, but we're kind of in their way. So we need to wait for this pedestrian. The car is still creeping, which I don't like. There we go. Um, yeah, that was strange to be creeping for that long. Now, we can turn right on red here. And is the car going to do it? It's creeping out to look. And I think it's clear. It's really hard to tell. There's parked cars there. Yep, we're good. So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. <laughs> so another one of my kind of like complaints, like, you're in the road. Just go. Obviously, you know, you're in the road. You need to just go. <laughs> so... Going through here, this is when we had the pedestrian come out and the car stopped kind of at the last second. It was, you know, kind of, I guess you could argue, the car could have just kept going, um, but it, I was fine with it stopping. And just not as many people. They must be gone for uh, the holidays. So we're in the left turn lane here and we want to go straight. So in this situation, the car, I would like it to just reroute and go left, but I don't think it's going to do that. So let's see, yeah, it's, it's got its tentacle pointing straight, which we can't do. So I'm going to stop it and take over here and make us go left. So we have some people walking out into the street. Wow, the car sees them from far away and brakes really far back. Even though for a second they were occluded by that vehicle, it seemed the car had memory, which was in the, if I remember correctly, 10.4 release notes, uh, kind of being consistent with uh, having those pedestrians and not forgetting that they're there when they're behind something. Uh, so very good, we saw that demonstrated there. Really good job braking. So 
we need to stay moved over for this vehicle here. We hit the brakes. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. So this left turn will be tough. Cross traffic doesn't stop. We're going to have some pedestrians walking in front of us. And like we're creeping towards her. I don't really like that. Like we shouldn't be moving. <laughs> Somebody's walking towards being in front of us. Just stop and wait. Uh, so yeah, this one will be tough. Let's see how it does here. There still looks like we got a gap and we can go. It is tough to see though because there's parked cars to the left so I can't really see very far down that road. So we're creeping out and at this point we need to just go. Again, we're in the road. Okay, go, go. Okay, so a little slow, but it, it kind of went at the point where I was like, okay, it's time to go. Uh, so not terrible. Actually handled that pretty well, in my opinion, uh, with the amount of visibility it had. So stopping here, is this our left turn lane? It's kind of hard. It looks like it's farther away, but I guess this is it. Not sure why we're stopping here. I'll report it. It seems like it thinks it needs to get behind these people again, but obviously that's wrong. Let me see. I'm going to tap the accelerator. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it keeps kind of second guessing where it should be going here. It has everything mapped out appropriately. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way because we have a green light. I'm going to go. Let's see if now that I fix it. Okay, so I fixed it. We are moving through. Tiny bit fast. Uh, wow, I don't, mm, dang it, I hate that. I don't know if that red light confused it or not. I had my foot on the accelerator. I don't know if I pushed it or not because it started to slow down, um, but then it didn't. So let's get a lucky in here for one more. Feeling lucky. No one's behind us. I'll let the car do its thing. Boom. I don't know what this is. Let's see if the car can get us here. So it looks like we're waiting for the pedestrian. Uh, very cool. Awkward hand wave by me. <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, yeah, very good job. As she approached, waited for her. Now we're stopping for no reason. Okay, I think it was maybe unsure of the other pedestrians. All right, we're reporting that. That was way too much uh, braking there. All right, so we're stopping way too far back. There we go, moving up a little bit. So this unprotected left, the ones I've seen have been, okay, not, no, that was terrible. Never mind. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what are you thinking? Okay, yeah, now you go. Oh my gosh. Hit <laughs> the accelerator. Whoa, and then a huge acceleration. What are you thinking? Okay, that was like, was it really just going to turn in front of that truck? I'm like, it seems like it was. That's like so stupid. What I was getting ready to say is the few unprotected lefts I have uh, done so far in this build, they were pretty good in the detecting the gap, but then it would start to go and, and just be too slow. But that was, I don't even know what to say about that. That was really bad. All right, well, I guess we'll wrap it up there. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Full self-driving beta 10.5. Getting better. Oh, is the dog on the screen? Come on, man. Show the dogs. <laughs> uh, getting better every day. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. What the heck? So yeah, so two really bad ones. The going towards the curb on that fast turn and then about to turn directly in front of that gigantic truck. So, yep, that's why we pay attention. Uh, and have our hands on the wheel, and good thing I didn't fall asleep on this. I shouldn't say that, because I don't. It's just like a, you know, a what-if question. <laughs> That's all. Um, oh, we can stop for this guy. All right, I'm, I'm rambling enough. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to talking to you down in the comments, and you will see Full Self Driving Beta in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 